Welcome to my tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to connect your 3CX account to a CRM. The idea of doing this is to obviously make 3CX way more powerful by knowing who is calling, saving time, and it's going to have all the details that you're going to need for your calls. Now, this also works for WhatsApp and other integrations that 3CX has for live chat and all of that. Now, let me show you how this is done right now. So as I mentioned, this is going to be the integration with 3CX, and I do recommend that you check out their integrations that they have available as of now. So basically, they integrate with the most known CRMs available as of today. And if it's not available, you do have the option to connect this via REST API. So you have that flexibility of also connecting. Now, like I said, opening up this provider and this integration gives you access to all of this. So you get to know who's calling, save the agent's time, obviously by knowing their name, their spelling, how the name is spelled and all of that. Save customer time, obviously by knowing a lot of information, respond faster, quick to call, major CRM players, obviously connects and chat, SMS and WhatsApp and cue that call. So you get all those integrations once you integrate with the CRM. Now, how is this possible? This is my 3CX account. And to do this, head on over to settings and in settings, you're going to click on CRM. Now, there's a drop down menu here that's going to give you a list of all the available CRMs as of today, like I said, and if you need to connect, you can connect with REST API. OK, now, in this case, I am going to show you how to do it with Sendesk so you get an idea. And in this case, it's going to ask me for my email. So I'm going to add the email to my account, the password to my account, and it's going to ask me the domain part. Now, before we actually are able to connect, we need to activate some settings on Sendesk. So let me give you a quick test. Let me run this test and I'm going to run the test for that phone number. I can add the phone number I want. You can see this is not a valid URL, so it's not going to connect. So let's go jump over to Sendesk and activate what we need. OK, so this is my Sendesk account. You're going to head on over to the gear setting and we're going to go into the go to admin center. So let's click on that one in an admin center. We are going to go into apps and integrations and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select Sendesk API. If you can't find it, just go ahead and search here API. OK, let's go ahead and select this. And we need to enable these two power password access and token access. So let's go ahead and enable these two. Here we go. OK, and now we should run the test again. So let's go back into 3CX account. We need to add the domain part. So the domain part for my Sendesk is that little part of the beginning of the domain. OK, so in this case, let me go ahead and grab it. Here we go. You don't add the dot send com, none of that, just the little part of the domain that belongs to you. So this is my domain that identifies my send desk account. So in this case, I am going to test and I am going to test with this phone number. And here we go. This phone number belongs to James. And this is the email for that uh, particular contact. And I get all this information if I have it available. Now I can go ahead and test with a different number just for testing purposes. And you can see I don't have the, the data but it is connected. OK, so you need to make sure that this is OK. Now, if you want to make the test where it works with the phone number you have already, go ahead and add the contact first in case you haven't done so. So in my Sendesk account over here in the customers, I can go ahead and add a customer. I can say test as a customer and I'll say test at test2.com. For example, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to verify that everything is created cor correctly. OK, so add contact. I'll add the phone number and I'll just say one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just making that up. You can see that's the phone number. I can go back to 3CX and make sure that it does read that phone number. Here we go. Now we have the data. So the name of this person is test. Here's the email and here is the business number. Now the rest of the data that we can use in our 3CX is obviously needs to be available in our CRM. Now that will depend if you're using Zoho, HubSpot, etc. Have all that data and it's going to be really useful when you're making out those calls or when someone calls you. So you know who's actually going to call you. So it's a really great option to have in 3CX. So I do recommend that you integrate with your CRM if you're going to use 3CX. But basically, it's super easy, set and forget. And if you just select different type of providers, it's going to give you the details on how to do this. Now, be aware, any of the ones that we select, for example, HubSpot, we're going to have those settings for HubSpot. And if we click right here, each one of these has a guide. So that means that you don't have to do this blindfolded. There's a guide to do this for each one of these CRMs. So basically, just follow the steps and you'll be able to connect your CRM. But there you go. That is the integration for 3CX and our CRM. Basically, that's a wrap.